Hi guys, this is a quick walkthrough on backing up your NS or NSX system. Uh, the TDAs and the NCPs are very similar as well. And of course you'll need to log into your system using your installer level access or your admin level access if you've been allowed on that account. So once this logs in, it takes a while. Alright, so one of the first things I would do is hit the floppy disk at the top to do a SD backup, no matter what system it is. So while that's backing up, it's a great time to smash that like button guys for the YouTube algorithm, it really helps me out. And it looks like it's almost done, sort of flicker a bit, there we go, hit OK, and then up the top again, top right, hit the hammer. Unfortunately, it's more waiting. All right, now once you're here, on the left-hand side, go to Utility, and then go to File, and then File Transfer PBX to PC. That means you want to save your file from the PBX to your PC, so do a backup. And then once you're in here, up the top under file name in that white search box, I usually type capital Y. That just eliminates all the other entries. And then you'll see the DFSYS. So no matter system, what no matter what system you've connected to, it's always the file that ends in SYS. Then you click on transfer, and the file downloads down the bottom, or whatever browser you're using, and just save it to your customer's database, wherever that might be. I usually like to rename the files to the date I'm downloading it on, just to make it easier to organize later on. So that's how you do a backup guys. So you've backed up the phone systems database, and now you've only backed up the database, you haven't backed up the firmware or anything, so this is just the customer programming that you've backed up, just so you know. Okay, so just hit save on that. Alright, so the next step is to do a database restore. Okay, so up the top on the left, uh, you go to File Transfer PC to PBX, because this time you want to transfer the file from your PC to the PBX. Okay, so you click on that. Then you go to Browse, and you go to the Customers Database, wherever that may be. Click on the file. Okay, I'm not going to click on the file, I'm just going to click click cancel because obviously I don't want to restore the database after you've clicked open on that file you click execute once you've clicked execute it'll do the upload and then it'll say it's completed then you go to system control on the left and then system reset and you can read through those um, instructions and as they say clearly there if you want to do a backup, you do a backup, but that's to keep the current database, otherwise you hit skip. And that will take you through and reboot the phone system with the database you've just uploaded. And for the last step, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe and share this video around. Hopefully it was useful to you and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.